there something special about those sort of legendary street tracks that environment it puts you in where you you're in the middle of a kind of bustling amazing city that people probably already would go and take photos of monaco just the bay and the harbor and you have this amazing event going on inside of that and so many stories on the racetrack with that incredible backdrop do the city races stand out as particularly exciting to photograph or is it just a, a different challenge it's a different challenge but there is something to be said about the proximity that you get to race cars like it it, it there's like an adrenaline rush to it it's really something that i've kind of longed for when i was when i was riding racehorses that was the adrenaline fix that i i really had a hard time replacing that when i retired from riding horses um there's i still haven't found anything that quite gets you that that buzz that i had but the closest i've come is covering street circuits like long beach like macau like monaco um you know when you have a race car that weighs a couple thousand pounds and it's coming at you at 100 1520 miles an hour and you can feel you know the the car like kind of kick the wall as it comes out of a corner or it's literally you know a few centimeters inches away from you and your camera there is there's absolutely something really special about that not just for us but for the drivers as well because there's no there is just no room for error you go to a place like circuit of the americas or shanghai or malaysia or you know one of the bigger f1 tracks that are just physically big not just like it's a big event big venue it's just a physically big place to work when you compare that to the the adrenaline you get from a car that's like next to you while it's racing is really, really cool. It's a lot of fun. And you had mentioned one thing that stood out to me when I was researching for this was that Silverstone, not that interesting of a place to shoot, not that exciting, but a bit boring, a bit flat, just an airfield, nothing going on. At Silverstone, huh? Yeah, it, there's a couple tracks like that. Um, even, even Sebring, which is also another airfield, it's a all it's a former World War II bomber base in Florida that they run the 12 hours of Sebring and both of those tracks and it's something to be said for how special it is when you when you add 150,000 spectators and the color and the energy that fans bring to an event uh, Sebring is one of the most boring places you can ever shoot without fans there um, I imagine Silverstone would be probably even worse because of you know sometimes the very gray English weather. Absolutely. But when you add when you add 150,000 fans that are all there, like no one's there because they have to be there. Like no one's there because they're being made to be there. Everybody's there because they want to be there and they want to be part of that, that action and they want to be part of that atmosphere. It, it changes a circuit like so drastically. Um, some circuits can if you took all the fans away, some circuits would still be just as cool as they are with 150,000 fans. But other places like Silverstone and Sebring, um, those two particularly just come to mind because they don't have that much interesting about them as a circuit. But then you put all the fans in the background and you know, Sebring is cool because they build all these scaffolding towers uh, for fans to watch from and they come in the week the week before and basically build like you know three three meter tall uh <laughs> scaffolding towers and put somehow get a leather couch to the top of it where it's 15 feet above the ground and, and you're thinking to yourself how did you get a leather couch 15 feet above the <laughs> ground without a crane and it's on this wobbly like painting scaffolding tower and they've strung christmas lights and then you throw the racing action in there it just it becomes a totally different event um and see and and Silverstone would be very much the same when you have, you know, Lewis Hamilton flags and McLaren jerseys and, you know, everybody just wanting to be part of the energy. It just changes the atmosphere of a, of a pretty boring circuit pretty immensely. Mm -hmm.